Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to use number variables in Figma or how to apply variables to design in Figma. So here I have an example which is almost uh, cover all those uh, elements where we are using the variables. So this is just for the number variables and here it is going to uh, apply in a layout grid, corner radius, padding, appearance, effects add to cart and spin box for basic understanding of number variables then height and width stroke or border and then typography so let's start with the first one uh, which is having the basic understanding uh, for that i will use the add to cart and spin box so this is the example one where i am using the number variable so first let's see the example So generally we are using this uh, for add to cart where we are tapping or clicking on the button which is say like uh, add to cart and it is getting increased the product in a cart. So same way the spin box uh, how we are using this. So in a spin box uh, while we are clicking on the like a uh, plus icon so it getting increase and while we tap or click on the minus icon or button it is getting decrease so this is the basic example uh, of number variable so let's see how to create this so just for example purpose i will use just frame where uh, I will take uh, one number which will say suppose 100 and uh, I will make it auto layout so I can give the border now the next is uh, we need a button in that we can click and so this is this will say add to cart and this also auto layout and next I'm going to fill in some color so this is the basic structure for add to cart and now the next I'm going to apply the local variable so for that uh, here I have created a local variable which is saying like a add to cart or uh, how we can create so from here you can create any collection or new because I have already uh, all those corner radius and all a different uh, variables is created so I'm going to create a collection which will say example and here I'm going to create variable which will say number and here I'm going to give some number or I will say count so count is zero this local variable is created now the next is uh, I will select this and I will apply the variable so for applying the variable you will see here variable icon so here i can apply the variable so we have given the name as a count so we can search also count automatically it will change to the 
zero because I have given the value as a zero. Now the next uh, once we have given the or assign this value to variable, we have give the like a prototype or interaction to this button. So uh, select this, come to the prototype and here it is in traction while click so action will be a set variable and here variable will come as a count because uh, this variable we have created and then next it will come count and we can give plus one So let's preview this. So it is working fine. Uh, now next I'm going to create uh, a spin box. So for a spin box uh, I will use the same this. So I'm going to duplicate this using alt. and here i need two button so i will take the same button here just i will change this to minus and same way here i will change to the plus so now this is already assigned uh, you can see here while you click on this and select this text so here this zero is selected and here the applied variable is count and if you want to detach you can detach this and again you can apply this variable so I have created count and select this count it will get attached here and then next i have to give this uh, plus and minus interaction so for plus interaction this is already uh, given here click count count plus one so same way either you just click here in a corner copy control c from keyboard and here you can paste it so now here what we need to do we have to click on the value and here instead of plus we have to give minus minus one and close this so now i'm going to run this so here i have used the same variable so it will impact to this variable also while we are increasing and decreasing the value so we have to keep in mind if we are using the same variable it will impact uh, and it will uh, reflect on a same page in our design so whenever we are going to use we need to create the different variable for that so suppose if i am going to create the different variable what we can what we need to do just come to the local variable and here is the example and uh, i'm just duplicating this and i'm going to give the name as a or you can say count two also it is fine or you can say like a uh, spin box so i will say spin box number or you can say count count will be more visible so here it is given zero so now i am going to assign this as a 10 so or so now it won't impact because i didn't apply this variable spin box count so we'll come here and we'll select this text value and then here we will detach this and again we'll apply spin box count which is 10 
now this comes 10 and now we have to give the interaction this is the plus come to prototype and instead of count just need to select the spin box count and here we will select the spin box count same way here for interaction instead of count we will select the spin box count and here also we need to select a spin box count so this spin box count for the minus so now we will preview this so this is one variable and this is the another one which is we can increase and decrease and the value will get it back so uh, the default value if we want to give uh, so we can assign here only in uh, local variable so suppose if uh, default value or uh, for any like uh, workflow or a prototype we want to give 20 so we can give the 20 and then it will get increase and decrease so for that i have created uh, multiple uh, component using the variable only and it is available in figma community i will add link in a uh, description so uh, for today uh, this number variable with the add to cart and spin box um, is here and the next i will uh, in next video i will so how to uh, implement in height and width so for today thank you thank you very much